So this Power Mac G3 server, uh, this Power Mac G3 running Mac OS 10 server, we're going to sell this in a server configuration <coughs> with a quarter gigabyte of RAM, two nine gigabyte Ultra 2 SCSI drives, and a board that has 400 megabit Ethernet ports on it, all for $49.99. So that's an under $5,000 server. <coughs> you can buy the software if you want, separate, but we'll sell completely bundled, ready to go configs. And I've got an iMac here as a client. So I'm just going to log in. And uh, <coughs> what we're going to see is I'm pulling stuff off the server. <coughs> now, how do you know I'm pulling stuff off the server here? Well, because on this iMac, I took out the hard drive. <laughs> I made this into a diskless Macintosh to demonstrate how fast sucking stuff off the server is. Because with 100 megabit Ethernet, it's faster to get stuff off the server often than it is off your local hard disk. So I'm going to just go ahead and launch an app, let's say. Um, and I'll just launch uh, AppleWorks here. <clears throat> so this is AppleWorks coming right off the server. You see how fast it's launching. I'm bringing up a document. Here's a document. Uh, again, everybody on, you know, that had permission could share this from the server. But uh, just a simple AppleWorks document. Very, very simple. <clears throat> now, um, <clears throat> let me go to the internet. So I'll click on Internet Explorer. <clears throat> I click on it there? There we go. So I'm loading Internet Explorer, again off the server. And now I'm going to point to an internet site. Well, what's the internet site I'm pointing to? The internet site I'm pointing to is also running on that very same server. Because we can do all sorts of things at the same time. So the internet site is running on Apache on the same server, and we wrote a web objects app in a few hours that just gave me the simple application. Running with Apache all on that server. So I could say, well, this is cool. Let me go ahead and uh, look at some QuickTime video. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and uh, play this video here. Again, <clears throat> coming over the server. It's about a megabit per second streaming over the server. It takes a few seconds. It's been one week to look at me. Again, one megabit per second video streaming off the server to a diskless client. No problems at all. Okay. Now, this is pretty cool. Um, but, I mean, you know, one server, one client, you probably wouldn't do that. Right? You probably want this configuration when you're, you have a bunch of clients. Let's say a classroom of Oh, 50 IMAX. So why don't we bring one of those out here? <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start these puppies all up remotely, and they're each going to play their own QuickTime movie. They're not synchronized. They're not sharing the same stream. This is 40, actually, it's 49 different streams feeding 49 different iMacs all off this one server. So let's go ahead and start that up. It'll take a second or two to <coughs> start up here. Here we go. <coughs> and we got three different movies that are playing, and they're playing all out of sync. And as a matter of fact, I got the 50th iMac here, so why don't I go ahead and uh, start that up too. <coughs> And as they get access to the server, they're going. There we go. <laughs> so. Mac OS 10 server. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs>